I've always enjoyed tasting wine. Uh, when we moved to Livermore, we had a phenomenal opportunity uh, to go out and experience uh, tasting wine at the wineries. And during the course of that, we became friends with uh, a number of the people in the industry, and one in particular was, was Tim over at Livermore Valley Cellars. It was the family winery. Uh, it was started by my father-in-law in 1978. Uh, we made, he made wines from his own vineyard, which were all white wines. We had the enviable opportunity to actually jump in as rookies and volunteers and learn uh, from Tim. It was in operation from 1978 to 2008, uh, which time when my father-in-law passed away, we closed the operation down. So I started tasting wine here in Livermore Valley, and that's kind of the beginning of uh, my taste for wine. So the three of us have known each other well over 20 years and uh, have socialized and drank a lot of wine together. About five years ago, I kind of got the itch to try to do something. Um, I started the business with another person that uh, had an interest in as well, and the two of us uh, kind of got crazy and thought of some ideas that we could just take over the whole wine industry from this small spot in Livermore. When my father-in-law, Ron, asked me to be a part of a Royal Cellars, I uh, was going into an industry I knew nothing about. And uh, now that I've gone through a couple harvests, working with Tim and John, I've learned so much and I'm, my passion for wine has grown. I joined Arroyo Cellars because of the uh, long family relationship we've had with Ron and his family and with um, the other partners. Ron and some of the other partners helped me out greatly when we were doing stuff for LBC. So I thought this was a great opportunity to get back doing something I love, but also um, pay them back for the, for the help and the uh, friendship that they gave us when we were uh, doing stuff 10 years ago. I joined the Royal Cellars um, partly because it was a, a, a natural extension of the activities and the friendships that we developed at Livermore Valley Cellars. Uh, several of the principals at Livermore Valley Cellars are the principals now in Royal Wines. Royal Cellars. So Tim, Ron, myself, uh, we have a long history of, of friendship, but we also have a history of enjoying working together and the, the creative process of making the wines. Uh, I think it's uh, you know because you have a group of people with varied backgrounds that have a common interest in, in supplying and making a great wine as well as an environment for people to enjoy the wine in. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a fun group, uh, enjoy spending time together, and I think uh, that will um, you know, manifest itself with our customers and the people who buy our wines. Uh, this is truly an enjoyable experience, and uh, it's a career path that I never expected growing up in, in the coal mine country in western Pennsylvania. It's, it's totally different than what I was expecting to be doing. I think it's uh, great to be part of this and uh, we're looking forward to a very successful future in the wine business. Working with the local wineries, uh, they've become our friends and helped us out a lot and we couldn't have done this without them. And every day is a challenge. I'm pretty happy uh, with what we're doing and uh, I enjoy the whole process. Ron, John, and I have a great passion for wine, and it's great to have um, a great team being able to do this winery work and uh, basically put out uh, what we feel will be some pretty stellar wines. <laughs>